Hello there, I'm Monica Reinagel. Welcome to the Nutrition Diva Podcast. Nancy writes, what's your take on sole water? I've been hearing a lot about it and how fantastic it can be, but I don't want to jump on the bandwagon if it's detrimental to my health. Well, good for you, Nancy. I'm glad you asked before jumping on that bandwagon. Sole water, if you haven't heard of it, is a new fad that's being promoted by various alternative health and wellness gurus. Basically, it amounts to drinking salt water. Not just any salt water, mind you, but a special solution made from pink Himalayan salt and purified water. Himalayan salt, as the name suggests, is harvested from the Himalayan mountains, which actually used to be ancient seabeds. The pink color is due to the presence of various minerals and other impurities in the salt. Now, most of the minerals that are found in Himalayan salt have no known function in the human body. Some of them, though, such as potassium and magnesium, are essential. And others, such as cadmium, mercury, and arsenic, are actually harmful if they're consumed in sufficient quantities. Fortunately, the quantities that we're talking about here are far too small to be harmful. But by the same token, they're also too minute to be nutritionally meaningful. Now, these pink crystals have become fairly ubiquitous. I have a jar of them in my kitchen right now, and they do look very pretty in a salt grinder. And those trace minerals can impart a mellower, more complex flavor that a lot of people find pleasant. And because they're not as pure, unrefined sea salts like Himalayan salt are sometimes a bit lower in sodium than just regular table salt. But now Himalayan salt is also being used to make this sole water. The usual procedure is to dissolve pink salt crystals in water to make a concentrated solution. And then you mix a teaspoon of this concentrate in a glass of water and drink it once or twice a day. By the way, I'm not clear on why this two-step process is necessary. It seems to me that you could just dissolve a quarter teaspoon of salt in a glass of water, but apparently that disrupts the vibrations or something. In any case, drinking this sole water on a daily basis is said to provide an astonishing array of benefits. Here is a partial list gleaned from the internet that most reliable of sources. Sole water is said to detoxify the body, balance systemic pH, improve hydration, improve mineral status, reduce muscle cramps, help balance your blood sugar, support hormone balance for everyone, no matter what hormonal issues you face. No, seriously, that is a verbatim quote. It's also supposed to help balance blood pressure, improve sleep, act as a powerful antihistamine, support weight loss, support thyroid and adrenal function, reduce cravings for addictive substances, rid the body of heavy metals, prevent arthritis, kidney and gallbladder stones, boost your energy, prevent varicose veins, and strengthen your bones. Wow, can you believe how powerful this stuff is? Yeah, neither can I. Before we take a closer look at some of these claims, I want to just take a moment to thank our sponsor, Virtue Labs. They are a new hair care brand that's bringing science and beautiful hair together. And one of their secret ingredients is a protein called Alpha Keratin 6KU, which is identical to the keratin in your own hair. That gives Virtue Labs hair products the power to change your hair's quality and appearance by resurfacing the strands and filling in cracks from damage, giving your hair more shine, more strength, and more life. Right now, you can only get Alpha Keratin 6KU in Virtue Labs line of shampoos, conditioners, and styling products. Users have found that frizziness was reduced by 67%, and split ends were up to 95% repaired after just five applications. And you know what? It smells amazing. Want to try it? You can get 10% off and free shipping with the code DIVA. So visit virtuelabs.com to place your order and use the code DIVA for 10% off and free shipping. And now how about these claims for sole water? Well, some of these, such as balancing your blood pressure, don't even make sense. I don't even know what that means. 
Others of them are far-fetched extrapolations that are vaguely based on biological functions that might involve sodium and or various minerals. But the amount of minerals that you would get from using Himalayan salt or drinking sole water are far too small to be affecting these functions in any measurable way. And there's no substantiation for the claims that these tiny, tiny amounts of minerals are somehow more usable or powerful because they're in some sort of energetically charged form or harmonically balanced proportions. But what about the placebo-controlled double-blind research that's being cited as scientific proof that this stuff works? Well, there does appear to have been a single unpublished study which used a highly questionable and unvalidated testing methodology to measure various indicators of quote-unquote optimal wellness. And even then, their findings didn't come close to supporting the kinds of claims that are being made for Soleil water. Drinking any salt water can act as a laxative, and that might be helpful if you're constipated, but it's not going to remove toxins from your body. And drinking salt water can also easily cause nausea or vomiting, so it's not a strategy I would recommend. Of course, the internet is full of anecdotal reports about how drinking sole water has had miraculous effects on people's health, but I think we're looking at a whole lot of placebo effect, uncontrolled variables, and just some plain old marketing. Drinking sole water is a completely pseudoscientific fad with little proven or even plausible benefit. I'd steer clear of this one if I were you. Do you have a question or a claim that you'd like me to research? Feel free to send me an email at nutrition at quickanddirtytips.com or post it on the Nutrition Diva Facebook page. I'd love to look into it for you. And if you enjoy listening to podcasts, I hope you'll add the Nutrition Diva to your playlist and check out all the other great Quick and Dirty Tips podcasts as well. Thanks so much for listening this week. Have a great week and remember to eat something good for me.